In my last video, I explained how 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. Okay. Now, we don't write radians every time. When, whenever we write 2 pi, it is understood to be in radians. So, using your logic, I can say that 180 degree is equal to pi radians. Okay. And 90 degree is half of pi is pi by 2 say 45 degrees is half of pi by 2 which is pi by 4. So based on this, if someone is asking you what is 30 degrees, 30 degrees I can write is 30 pi by 180. Because 180 degrees is pi, so 30 degrees, use your logic here, you can directly write pi by 6, but if I don't want, if you, I, I don't know how to if I don't know that 30 is 1 sixth of 80. So if I know this formula that 180 degree is pi radians, 30 degree would be 30 pi over 180, which is pi by 6. Okay, now if someone is asking me uh, how much is it 20 degrees? So I have to just go use this logic. So 180 degree is pi. So 20 degree would be 20 pi over 180, which is of course, this is 1 9, which is pi by 9. So I always remember this formula. From this formula, I can write any of this. Suppose if someone is asking you no odd degree, uh, say, say 11 degrees. 11 degrees, if you want to write this in radians, it is nothing but 11 pi over 180. Now you can't simplify this. So to generalize, so to generalize, so let us generalize. You may be wondering why am I explaining this? You'll understand later. So if you, if I know 180 degree is pi radians, theta degrees would be theta pi over 180 degree. So if you want to change from degrees to radians, what you do is this is theta degrees. Uh, whatever degree that you got, you have to times it by pi and divide by 180. So this is the, you can say, a formula which can be used to change from degrees to radians. Suppose someone is asking you how much is 15 degrees. You have theta is pi. So I go 15 times or 15 pi over 180. Okay. And 15 uh, goes in 180 how many times? 15 times 12, I hope you know 15 times 12 is 180. 15 times 10 is 150, and 15 times 2 is 30. So this is 180 degree. So 15, uh, this is nothing but pi by 12. Okay, now this is a formula that I want you to remember. Okay, now let me go back. My The intention of this video is to explain this formula, that length of any arc now this is an arc so this the distance from p to s is s i'll write s here s for length of an arc i don't know why they use let letter s for length so or in other words arc ap or let me write this length of arc ap in this case this is an arc this is a notation for arc is equal to s now this is a general uh, it can be of any length yeah so let us say this is an arbitrary length of an arc so i want you to use logic a bit now so let me delete this i don't want this now i want working space here okay so imagine that you have this is a particle which is moving around the circle so this is your center uh, your x-axis and your y-axis and this is your center which is also the origin imagine this particle is moving round the circle okay so one revolution in one revolution it covers a distance of 2 pi r does it make sense one full revolution it covers a distance of 2 pi r so 2 pi r distance and 2 pi r, I hope you know, is the dist, uh, circumference of a circle. This implies 
can I say 360 degrees when a particle moves 360 degree it covers 2 pi r distance one revolution means this particle is moving how many degrees you can say in 360 when a particle moves 360 degrees it has moved a distance of 2 pi r so this is a degree I'm making me relate we are finding the relationship between degrees and distance so I can say when a particle moves or covers a this a de, uh, 360 degrees it has covered a distance of 2 pi r so now my question is if it has covered a distance of pi theta theta means you're always starting from here as when you're saying it has started from a it has gone to p it has covered how much degrees it has covered theta degrees so i can say it has moved a distance of s it has moved a distance of s i'll repeat it again when this particle moves starts from here or starts from say uh, okay let us start from here if a particle moves from a anti-clockwise or clockwise doesn't matter and it comes back to a we can say it has covered 360 degrees and it has covered a distance of 2 pi r whereas if it, it has moved from a to p it has covered a distance or radial distance of or in degrees it has moved theta degrees and so the distance it covers is s therefore okay now before i do the next step let me give you a side example the next step here may not be clear suppose let me take make up an example say number of number of pin number of pins and say cost in dollars cost in dollars okay now suppose say five pins five pins cost say twenty dollars the question is you want to find uh, say twelve pins would cost say x dollars okay so i i hope you know this quite easily now suppose if 12 pins cost x can i write x is equal to we know that see if 12 pins cost 20 dollars one pin is costing four dollars so 12 pins would cost 12 times 4 which is 48 but if you want to find x using these numbers i can go this is same as x is equal to 12 times 20 divided by 5 which is 240 which is 240 divided by 5 and times in this by 2 and this by 2 this i want to do without the calculator which is 480 divided by 10 which is 48 dollars we could have done without this process but i want you to explain something so if you want to find x what you do is you multiply this two okay and then you divide this okay so this is how i understand so 12 times 20 divided by 5 so using that same logic using that same logic let me can i say x s can i say s which is the length of the arc is theta times 2 pi r over 360 so therefore s is nothing but theta times 2 times pi r over 2 times 180 i'm just trying to make life easier so i hope you understand you can cancel this twos so your s is nothing but pi r theta over 180 so if you want to find the length of an arc if you want to find the length length of an arc and if the angle is in degrees you can use this formula so here theta is in degrees now theta is in degrees here so length of an arc if theta is in degrees 
can be used by this formula, which is pi r theta over 180. You can prove this yourself, okay, if you understand this logic. Okay, now I just told you, theta, if it is in degrees, is theta pi over 180. So let us look at this formula. So S is equal to pi r theta over 180. This can I write as r times pi theta over 180. Uh, okay, pi theta over 180. Now what is this? This is nothing but radians. This is nothing but radians. Pi theta over 180 is radians. Okay, so if you have, if you are working in radians, therefore, if pi theta over 180 is in radians, uh, where theta is the angle. Therefore, when theta is in radians, when theta is in radians, I hope I have not confused you, this S can be simply becomes R times theta, where theta should be in radians. Because, okay, so let us take an example. Okay, so let us take an example to illustrate this, because if I do, suppose, let me make up, suppose this is a circle, and say this is the, okay, so I want to find, Suppose the particle has moved from, this is a point A, and say this is point P. Okay, so let me make up an angle. So here, this is a theta, is 60 degrees. Okay, and your radius is say 5 centimeters, and your theta is 60 degrees. So you want to find this this length from A to P. So S, which is nothing but arc, length of arc AP, is pi r theta over 180, which is, I'm working in degrees first, so this is pi times phi times 60 over 180. So we'll not write, we'll write the answer in pi, so S, so 60 goes in 180, 3 times, so it is 5 pi by 3. So the length of the arc is 5 pi by 3 centimeters. Okay, but now theta, which is 60 degrees, if you want to change this into radians, becomes 60 pi over 180, which is pi by so the same formula S is equal to R times theta, which is R times, this dot is times, pi, uh, R is phi here, so your, oops, say so R is phi, so it is phi times pi by 3. And this is phi is phi over 1, so S is same as phi pi by 3 centimeters. So you can use both these formulas. In some textbook they say that you can't use, uh, you can't find the length of an arc if it's in degrees. I don't think it is right. You can find the length of the arc even if it is in uh, degrees, but you have to use two different formulas for degrees and radians. So if it's in degrees, you can use this formula, which is pi r theta over 180. And if it's in radians, you have to use this formula, which is r is, s is equal to r theta. They are one and the same formula. Uh, so both of them get, give you the same answer.